Throughout history, purple has often been a sign of royalty. For example, in the Roman Empire, purple was only to be worn by those in power. In fact, the purple specifically used would be called Tyrrhene purple. This pigment dates as far back as 1600 BC. Let's go on a purple adventure! <laughs> The pigment we have come to love has changed in big ways over the last couple hundred years. When it was first created, it was made from sea snails. A group of children on the coastline of Tyre and Sidon had taken the snails and crushed them up with rocks, and in our example, their mouths, combined them with lemon juice to create a pigment used to dye rags. This is just one way the pigment is made. Let's go learn some more about Tyrrhene Purple. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we would have visitors. Sorry, we were just looking for the purple factory. Well, you are in the right place. Great, do you think you could tell us a little bit about Tyrrhene Purple? Absolutely. From 2000 BC to AD 1453, the way this dye is used has changed in multiple ways. Well, how do they use the dye? The use of this dye varies in many ways. Most often it is used to dye different fabrics. Because of how costly the dye is to make, it was often only used for royalty. How do they use the pigment to get cloth to dye? Well, one thing that has never changed is that in order to use the pigment to dye things, it has to be made into a liquid version. Well, how do they do that? The way we do it in this factory is we take the hypobronchial gland from the fresh sea mollusks and soak it in salt and water for three days. We then boil the mixture in a tin container and let it stay hot for at least 10 days. After the 10 days, we can then use it to dye different fabrics, but in order to get a vibrant color, it has to soak for at least three days or more depending on the fabric. Thank you for teaching us today. You're very welcome, darling. The next stop on our purple adventure is a fish market. Whoa, look over there. Wow, it's the mollusk that makes Tyrrhene purple. But wait, isn't the mollusk itself supposed to be purple? No, silly. The purple color doesn't come from the mollusk itself. It comes from the hypobronchial gland, remember? Oh yeah, but why are they selling them here at the fish market? Because the mollusk is actually edible. Wow, that's so cool. We're all gonna try them, right? Of course. Oh, wowie, that is as spicy as a ghost pepper. <laughs> well, sorry, I forgot to warn you. Why is it so hot? Well, in Japan, it's actually known for its spice level. The spiciness is caused by a part of the hypobronchial gland that is used to make an orange dye. Wow, this mollusk sure does have a lot going on. It sure does. Now it's time to try the mollusk France style. In France, the mollusk is steamed and served with mayonnaise. When prepared like this, it's considered a delicacy. I sure hope it's not as spicy, but in the meantime, we've got to get to our next stop. Sockington is punished immediately. Where are we? We are in the year 251 AD in the Roman Empire. But my queen, for what reason do you wish to punish him? He was wearing a purple robe. Why yes, my queen, but why is this an issue? It was Tyrone purple. <laughs> Silence. According to law 5476, 
wearing of Tyrane purple robes is prohibited by all. In the Roman Empire, it was strictly forbidden to wear Tyrane purple unless you were royal. This crime was taken very seriously by the royalty until they finally decided it was a very irrational law. Your Honor, that law is so outdated. Sir Sockington is sentenced to death. Wait! Your Honor, wearing a certain color is no reason to kill someone. Oh, fiddlesticks, you're right. I hereby announce that Law 5476 is irrational. Wow, what just happened? History just happened. The law was taken away. However, those robes are really expensive, so only the rich will get to wear them. Wow, what a cool story. I know. Well, that concludes our purple adventure. I hope you all had a fun day. Bye! Thank you.